<laughs> Hi, this is Ahan Shetty. And this is Tara Sataria. And you're watching Bollywood Hangama. We have with us Ahan Shetty and Tara Sataria. Their movie Tadap is coming up. The promos are absolutely smashing, and we'll talk about the film and much, much more. Pleasure having you guys with us on Bollywood Hangama. Thank Bollywood you so much. Thank you so much. And you. congratulations for your first film. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm very excited. You know, generally, क्या होता है कि जो जो बच्चे होते हैं famous parents के उनके सामने एक pressure होता है कि भाई अभी आपको you have to live up to your father's thing. यहाँ पर सुनील सर को के ऊपर pressure आ रहा है कि भाई आपका लड़का तो पहले picture में इतना ज़्यादा कमाल का लग रहा है. Right, right, right. And it's going to be tough for you now. Right. Yeah. No, I didn't feel any sort of pressure, and Dad never gave me any sort of pressure. But yeah, I I, I understand what you're saying. Even he's taking um, a little bit of that stress. <laughs> nothing in terms of um, you know that i need to prove myself or anything right. but he's just a little stressed that you know it is his i am his son so uh, you know every father is a little stressed out and has that anxiety about what his son is going to do right and you know he just wishes me all the best all right so uh, tara how is your experience um, with tara my experience has been a lovely long one we we met <laughs> almost two and a half years ago yeah. and we've been shooting this film for two years so it's mm. been um, quite a journey We've experienced so much, all of us together on this film. We've shot in Masuri and Rishikesh. We actually we shot Student of the Year too as well. So I felt like quite a local when we were shooting that up. Um, but it's been very interesting, I think, as a as a human being and as an actor to to experience so many emotions, so many roller coasters of things going on in this film. Anyone who's seen RX Hundred will know what I'm talking about because the story is such that it's just. It's everything in one film, and it's incredibly intense at that. So I think um, it's been a fantastic experience. Right. So a lot of people they have seen uh, RX Hundred. So I've just uh, done an interview with the actress who was there in the original. I saw that. Right. I, I saw that interview yeah. as well. Right? And someone tagged me in it or something. So I saw and it, yeah. uh, so she too is majorly into the space that I should be. I saw that. I saw that. And she is um, obviously. I think that the movie has done very well. Yeah. and uh, it has become like a cult film in a way as well so aap payal se aap kya kehna chahenge uh first of all payal yo sab in the movie um yeah. but i'm very grateful that i get to play ramisa in this one she was incredible and mm. i think both of us have emulated so much from kartikeya and pa- uh, payal as well from rx100 yeah. um but uh, you know this this one is really special and i'm really grateful to sachit sir and milan sir for giving it to me so sorry payal <laughs> or right, so i was in hyderabad recently and um so I, i spoke to a few people about rx and it uh, generally i think telugu and, and south cinema i think they they come up with these so interesting com- concepts even in in uh, the masala and commercial space right. and it is absolutely fabulous uh, but even from that context they felt uh, quite a few people that i spoke to so they felt that um this film pushes the envelope in terms of speci- especially the sort of you know the physical chemistry that that the lead pair they have it's 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 a very intense and and physical sort of romance which is right. there do you also feel that uh, that that element of being so together mm-hmm. um leads to that element of betrayal as well in a way the romantic aspect of this film is very intense uh but when it comes to betrayal you know when you love someone so much and that betrayal does happen uh it tends to hurt a lot more um mm. so yeah I think it's a very um visually when you watch it because there's such a great amount of intensity uh in the first half and second half um obviously the first half is lighter and hap- in a slightly lighter and happier space second half is uh, gets way more intense and and obviously there are twists and turns in the story but I think that um when there is so much love it the betrayal becomes even better to watch because you mm. are completely consumed in that uh love and then betrayal and the sort of togetherness that 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 you guys are sharing um in terms of i think at least in the promo that's itself we see that there are there are several cases in the film so that that there is no no holds barred element which is there how was how was that for you as an as an actor because i think this this is in a way like a first for you yeah um mm. it is actually i think you know if there's comfort and there's a certain sense of ease mm. uh, between the people involved and i think it'll be a, a pretty smooth sailing process uh, it can be daunting and stressful had it been another way but uh, mm. luckily i think fortunately for us there was i mean we even between takes mm. we'd we'd be okay there was no awkwardness or tension mm. around us yeah. because had that happened this film would not look the way it did so mm. touch would 
there was ease yeah, you I know? think personally we're so comfortable with one another that um, you know when it came down to doing uh, those scenes it just came across mm. really uh, yeah. all right so when I saw the promo you know my first impression was this boy is so um, you know so angry <laughs> I, I believe uh, you were given this compliment angry young man yeah as well right. after uh, I think who, who said Sal Salim sir um, I think so, and uh, Rakesh Sali ji had also called me and personally told Rakesh me. Rakesh Roshan. Yeah. So. Right. So, but but when we are meeting you right now, you quite quite a contrast, which which is yeah, nice. Yeah, completely different. <laughs> which yeah. is nice. Isn't <laughs> it's it? a good thing. Because, kafi matlab jis tarikhe se wo ek ap inko tara ko ap utha rahe hain ek akhir mein promo mein. It's like it's it's like scary. It's like. And that's that's what the character is. Yeah, and personally, I'm not like that at all. I wouldn't I, want to be like I that. I can at testify all. that. <laughs> Um, can testify that. Yeah, no, um, you know, it's very important to be able to disconnect from your character and to be able to, mm. you know, switch on and off. Um, so, um, what I tried to do when I was performing was, um, so acting for me is very therapeutic. I like to, you know, I'm an introvert, I'm a very shy person. So, um, I fell in love with acting is because every, all the emotions that I hid within myself, I was able to express through acting. So I guess for this performance as well, uh, you know, everyone has something going on in their life. There's always these frustrations and anger and stuff. So mm -hmm. I feel like um, that really helped me portray Shana's character. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, when you have such fantastic performers around you, um, whether it be Tara or Saurabh Shukla or Kumud Mishra, it really helps you, uh, helps your performance. And I think uh, not just me, but they helped bring out that performance in me. And I'd have to thank Milan sir for that as well. Of course, and I, I believe uh, Masuri is, uh, is is a character in itself, and I think beautifully presented. Yeah. And beautiful uh, weather, beautifully yeah. presented. Everything is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, so how was the experience of hmm. that entire ambience? Um, it was it was really nice uh, shooting in Masuri. You know, it was really beautiful. We have um, beautiful sequences. Very cold. And, also. Yeah, <laughs> it was very cold. You know, there were certain sequences where I was shirtless. I think she was in shorts and like a tank top. Um, in the rain. In the rain, so it was one degree plus rain plus the wind factor. So it was absolutely freezing. You know, we were um, between takes. We had hot water bottles and hot water bags like stuffed into our jackets. You know, sipping. Yeah. So you know that experience was um, was really interesting, and I really enjoyed that. Right. So, uh, Tara, when I was um, doing the research for this interview today, um, I believe you are doing um, a villain too. After this, you are you part of Tarap and. Um, there's, there's another sequel that you're doing? Hero Panti 2. Hero Panti 2 as well. That was, so all of these, they are, they are, I think, as massy as it gets. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier, that I'm a huge fan of yours uh, for, your, for your music. Thank you. You have a tremendous sense of music and ballet dancing and a Thank lot of you. other things as well. Um, do you at times fe feel that there's a bit of a contrast between your movie choices and maybe what you are as an artist in a way? Um, yeah, I, I would be lying if I said that that's not how I felt from time to time. Right. Um, it's fun to get to be someone completely different and to choose mm. films that probably I might have earlier thought I would not do. But as mm. I'm growing with this journey and learning so much about who I want to be in this industry and, and how I want to portray myself, mm. I'm learning that I really enjoy being a part of commercial cinema. Uh, and I actually do have an announcement that I will uh, come out with soon that is very contrasting to a couple of the releases that I have lined up. Right. Um, I'm very grateful in, in uh, Villain 2 that I'm singing a lot. Uh, You've sung, sung, sung yourself? Yes. Uh, That's great. I'm okay. really excited for that. Um, I'm eagerly awaiting our release. Um, so that's something that um, I want to grow. Uh, I want to see that grow alongside my acting career as also my music career. And there's a lot that I have planned for that mm. next year. All right, and any possibility of, of, of just maybe headlining a web show or something that can that can really showcase? Absolutely, I haven't. Uh, again, I'm in talks for something else. It's not a show, but it's something else that uh, I think aligns with my personality completely. Mm. And um, I just want to try to be as honest as I can as a person and just sort of show that through the characters I play. And like you said, um, some of my choices have been extremely commercial and, and massy choices, right. which some people might think is uh, contrasting to my natural personality because I'm a bit reserved, I think, as a person. So people mm. might not be able to connect the two. But I think that's the perk of the job and it's the fun part of being an actor is you can kind of 
be this way, but then also be completely different when you're in your films. So that web element that you're mentioning, so is it is it something on the lines of of, of your own 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 journey, um, like like a masaba masaba sort of element? No, 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 no. It's nothing Not like, that. like that. It's okay. just a very um, compelling story, and I can't wait to be a part of it. It's um, female-driven, wonderful story. Great. So, Ahan, well, what was it like to get into the that brawny and physical right. form of, of Ishana? Uh, you know, it was quite difficult because mm. uh, Milan sir did want me to put a certain amount of weight on. Actually, wanted, I put on 11 kilos for the film in terms of muscle. So that mm. took me a long time because it's very hard for me to put on weight. Mm. So I was eating almost 9 to 10 meals a day, you know. Uh, I wouldn't even finish my lunch and my next meal would be ready. So I just had to keep stuff in my face and keep working out. And then uh, what was difficult was um, when we went through the pandemic, uh, mm. you know, we had 10 months gap between our shoots and I actually lost 14 kilos during the pandemic and then I had only two months to get ready for the film again. Mm. So I didn't manage to put those 14 kilos on again. I managed to put around six, seven kilos. But yeah, in terms of physicality, it was a bit difficult um, uh, putting on that kind of weight for this role. And uh, even in Masuri, you know, we didn't really have a gym. Uh, we had to drive up equipment from Delhi so I could train. Yeah, we kind of set it up in my room itself. So um, we'd shoot for uh, 13, 14 hours a day, come back, take a power nap, then work out, and eat dinner, and then go to sleep. So I had a pretty hectic uh, schedule and regimen that I was following. Right. And I think uh, Sunil sir gave you, I think, a, a brilliant advice that um, a good actor should be made, but at the same time, more important thing is to be a good human being. Right. Which I think is fascinating, and that, that's what, what, what he is all about. Right. I met him in Goa a few okay. years back, and um, so your, your grandfather had uh, passed away right. at that point of time right. and he literally had tears in his eyes when he started talking about him yeah, yeah and it's absolutely fascinating the sort of devotion that he had towards his father yeah I mean um, you know like, um, as a family we're very very close um, mm -hmm. so my uh, Ajja um, my dad's uh, father he used to live with us and my grandmother lives with us so we're a very close knit family mm -hmm. so um, even for me you know I have th that a tremendous amount of respect for my father and I love my father tremendously and um, yeah I can imagine when he was talking to you about it that he did have tears in his eyes. Right, right. absolutely. All right. If Tara Sudarya says to you, Jo aaj tak dil mein rakha hai, wo bolo. What would you say to her? I'm petrified of doing this rapid fire round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what was the last thing jiske liye aap tadap rahe the? Uh, for the release of our film, mm. you know, it's been such a long journey that uh, I was just, I couldn't wait to release the film and show the world what we've made. And uh, there must have been talks of maybe ki OTT, OTT, OTT release kar sakte No, there definitely was and um, mm. you know, nothing against OTT, it's a brilliant platform and it, I feel like it's only helped Bollywood. But uh, yeah, now we're releasing in cinemas, so I'm, I'm very, very excited. When Sunil sir watched the trailer of Tarap, what was the first thing he said to you? Yeah, he said, I didn't expect this from you. In a good way, so... I'm sure. If you can describe the music of Tarap in one word. Uh, fantastic. Tarasutarya singing or Tarasutarya's dancing, what is more beautiful? Mm. Singing. Singing, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> your, your most favorite film of Milan Lothria? Um, I think Taxi Number Nodo Gyara and Tarap. <laughs> okay, if Ishana meets Kabir Singh, what would they talk about? What would they talk about? That would be a very interesting conversation, I think. Uh, definitely their love lives <laughs> and how um, intense they both were. I feel like definitely um, <laughs> uh, Ishana's love life is a little more uh, action-packed, you can say. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Which celebrity would you say following things to? Mm -hmm. Did you watch Tarap trailer? Did you like it? Uh, Ranbir Kapoor. Ranbir Kapoor? Mm -hmm. I really look up to him as a performer. Okay, I want to sign my next film with you. Um, Rohit Shetty. Tara Sutaria talks a lot about you. Arjun Kapoor. Complete the following sentence, please. The toughest thing about Tara was to? I think the whole uh, pandemic, you know, the, the gap between the pandemic, I think um, trying to maintain the character and the physicality of the character through the pandemic, I think that was the toughest. Something that can make any guy fall in love with Tara Sutaria is her? Uh, singing. Singing, okay. And advice I receive from my father that I'll follow all my life is that? Uh, you said it before, um, mm. you know, uh, if you're not known as a good actor, just be known as a good human being. Mm. And he also told me, don't fear that one Friday. 
you know, when your film releases. You know, it might do well, it might not do well, but don't fear it. Just you know, learn from the mis mistakes you've made and uh, carry that forward. Apart from my father, an actor I consider my role model is? Uh, again, Ranbir Kapoor. Um, I really look up to him, the way he carries himself, the, uh, his performances, mm -hmm. the, the variety of characters he, uh, he tries to portray. Um, so yeah, Ranbir Kapoor. Okay, a Bollywood film I would love to star in a remake of? Border. Border of? Of, of my father's and um, uh, I think uh, War as well. I really like the film War with Rithik. Uh, Which Rithik character? Rithik's character. Uh, Rithik's character. <laughs> Rithik's character. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, think, I think he has fared well. Yeah, I, I don't think I did that. Too well. bad. He has fared yeah. well. All right, so now just see. Yeah. How I'll, I'll see how pros do the it. pros do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so rapid five with Tara Sutaria. Ahan's acting skills. Or Ahan's action, what impressed you more? Uh, to be honest, this film is a bit of both. So I think everybody's been pretty impressed with both. But if I had to choose one, do I have to choose one? Yes. Uh, that's tricky. Uh, he's very intense, his acting. If you fall in love with your friend and know that he also has feelings for you, would you propose to him or wait for him to propose to you? Oh, I would propose to him. Why not? Okay. Hurling abuses on screen or kissing on screen, what would be easier for you? I'm really bad at abusing. I, I don't think I could really do that very well because I can't even say the words right. If food was a handsome guy, how would you describe your relationship with him? It's a toss-up between burgers and apple pie. So I think, uh, yeah, it's up. Is, is that the right answer? I don't even know. Your relationship will be in calories. I have no problem with that. <laughs> I think it is already. <laughs> what is the easiest way to piss Ahan off? Mm. A, a poke and prod at him continuously like stress him out about something I think mm. then he'll finally eventually he doesn't say much in the beginning and then finally he'll just be like okay how do you react to following things in one word Tara's English proficiency top notch which celebrity you'd love to say following things to it's been so long we haven't met let's meet over a cup of coffee mm. Tiger, we were shooting Hero Panthi in London and we haven't hung out since then because he's shooting Ganpat in London now. Alright, yeah. I would like to raid your wardrobe. Deepika, I think she's very chic. Have you ever stalked your fan on Instagram? I'd be lying if I said no. You, you have? Yeah. <laughs> That's what pros do. <laughs> They are honest. Would you call yourself Insta addict? I feel like I should be on Instagram much more than I am. Um, and I would like to be. And in the new year, I will be, guys. But um, no, no, I don't think I'm an addict at all. Okay. Do you believe in love at first sight? 100%. Tarap is a 100 crore film? 100%. I hope so. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tall order. Hmm. It's a tall order between I think Tara and uh, and Ahan. Both have done pretty well, and uh, it's a it's a bit of a toss up. But you know, I feel that 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 spontaneity that hmm. that Tara displayed. You know, I think that she she had been rehearsing these. I think these so. I've been I rehearsing since our first uh, first time two years ago. Or yeah, three I, years know, ago. I, I literally found out two minutes before we were doing the interview. I watch I, I watch her interviews, and I literally I'm like learning how fast <laughs> people are talking. No, but, but I think you know we'll have to be slightly brutal and uh, you know. So I think thoda edge hai. No, no, of course, of so course. So thoda edge hai. Yeah. We would, no, no, we would you, uh, yeah, want you to I'll, I'll, present, I'll this present this. Oh, oh, yeah, so. This wonderful oh, oh. speaker to us. Thank you. That's so And she can listen to her music on this <laughs> yeah. this one. Do you want it, Ahan? No, no. <laughs> I mean, you have to find it. You're giving it to me. Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Ahan Shetty. And this is Tara Sataria. And you're watching Bollywood Hangama. 